ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back. It feels so good to say that. Welcome back to VH1 Supersonic. We've been gone for three years and I can't tell you how much we've missed being here, being on the field and looking at everybody's faces once again. And not just me personally, and not just the crew at Supersonic, but also the artists have really missed looking at and being around fans and being at a music festival. Before we start, can I please introduce to you Mr. Gaurav Mashwala, who is the head of the live events division at Viacom. The only problem is the people at Viacom have such long designations that I never know what to call them. But he's my dear friend and partner in crime at VH1 Supersonic, but he handles a lot more than Supersonic. I'll let him give you his official designation. Gaurav. Hello everyone and thank you for making it over here. Uh, so I'll keep my designation short. I'm just business head of the live uh, business for Viacom 18. Uh, we're really happy to uh, have Supersonic back after three years. Uh, Nikhil clearly has uh, been the face of this festival, so I'm going to let him do all the talking because he doesn't do it better than I do. Gaurav just gets us the money to run the festival, which is way more important than what I do. But um, once again, welcome. Um, this year at Supersonic, as you know, the festival is spread over an immense area. We've been here for the past five or six years here in Pune, and we love coming back to the city. We love the energy, especially of the younger generation that lives here in Pune. People come down from Mumbai, people come down from all across India, and this year we've got quite a few people coming down from the Middle East and Dubai as well. Um, we're starting here on what is our underground music stage and Supersonic was actually the first festival to pioneer what, the, what is called techno now all across India at our first festival, actually our third festival in Goa back in 2015 when we invited Awakenings, the biggest techno brand from Amsterdam, actually the, the biggest global brand to host the stage here at Supersonic and we partnered with them for five years and this year we're doing Techno on our own, Awakenings is doing their own festivals in Europe. And back then I believe that as a team we had the vision to see where the festival was moving to and where music in India was moving to and we brought in artists that nobody else had thought of bringing in back then and that's what has now proved, as there's proof in the pudding, techno is the biggest genre for music fans in India currently, um, second only to uh, Bollywood and Desi music, and I think that their entire genre was something to be pioneered at Supersonic, and that's why we have this enormous stage right at the beginning of the festival that's going to welcome all the people walking in with some of the most brilliant artists from across the world. Three days of various genres of techno. There's also different types of techno, as there are different types of all forms of music. So we've got melodic techno on day one, we've got tech house on day two, and we've got what's called industrial or hard driving techno on day three. So there's lots of different offerings for fans of this form of music, and I think people are going to be very, very happy over here. In fact, quite a few of my friends have decided that they're going to pitch a tent and camp at this spot at the festival and they're not going to go anywhere else, which is disappointing, I've told them, because we've got so much more happening at the festival that they really should come in and experience. What we're also encouraging people to do is come in early at VH1 Supersonic because there's a culture with this generation which is called pre-gaming. I won't explain what it is, but I think a lot of people know what pre-gaming is. <laughs> We are now moving pre-gaming to the festival, where till 4 o'clock, I think there's one plus one. For every drink you buy, you get one drink on the house. And the reason we want people to come in early is not so that they drink more. That's not the reason. <laughs> we want them to come in early because we want them to come and eat here at the festival. Our food selection at Supersonic this year is, I think, the best we've ever done of all the editions we've done. So we want people to come in early. And I know the concern is, which is why we have tripled the amount of shade at the festival this year compared to what we've had in the past few years. So there's lots and lots of shaded spots. I do understand it's warm in the afternoon, but if you come in early, you've got pre-gaming, you've got great food to try out before the festival gets packed and busy. You can sit down, you can even take a nap on the grass if you want to, and then when the festival gets fully crowded, you can engage with it and be full on. So honestly, if you're going to come to Supersonic this weekend, and come in by 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and really get full Pesa Vasool for the ticket that you've bought to enjoy every aspect of the festival. So, should we move on to the next stage? 